family, welcome to another vlog with Valerie. Please excuse the way my voice sounds. I'm got a cold right now, it is cold season, and I don't know, anytime that this, like, it's going into fall and the weather's changing, I always get a cold. Never fails. But we're gonna make the best of this video, and today I'm excited to do this because I've been pushing it off for so long, but we are going to be organizing my pantry and there's also something that I want to try in this video. I want to try to make a pumpkin spice latte. If any of you guys watched my last Crazy Kind Kitchen episode, I made pumpkin honey bun cake and I had leftover pumpkin puree. And I asked you guys what to do with it and most of you said try to make a pumpkin spice latte. So that is what we're gonna to try to do today. I'm using that as like my reward for um, once I have the pantry cleaned and organized, then I'm gonna make myself a pumpkin spice latte. So that's my motivation to get this done. I have like a ton of stuff that I have to do today and tomorrow. I was supposed to be working today, but I just, my cold, I woke up this morning and I just felt so miserable, had a miserable night. And yeah, we're trying to make the best of it, but it is miserable to say the least. But I am gonna try to be a little bit productive because I have a lot of stuff to do because we're leaving on Wednesday for family vacation, which by the way, if I didn't say, I will not be vlogging it because I just want to have a nice relaxing vacation. So sorry to any of you guys who wanted to see that, you will not be seeing it. <laughs> so I guess without further ado, I'm gonna get started and probably the best way to start is just to get everything taken out and take stock of what I have and then yeah, we'll go from there. Right, it is now empty. I left a couple things up there that I knew were going to stay, like some bigger appliance type things, not appliance, but, and then my paper towels. But look at all of this, guys. Can you believe all of this was in that tiny little pantry? Okay, I got, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six jars right here, different sizes and things. These two here I got at TJ Maxx. They have the copper lids. And then also these two, this one and this one I also got a TJ Maxx. The others are all thrifted, but I am planning to just, um, I don't know what all I'm gonna put in them yet. Wow, this is such a mess. I can't wait till this is cleaned up. I am going to, I guess the best way to just start is to just sift through everything. What do I need? What do I not need? And what's outdated and what isn't? So that's the next step. Hey, I feel like I have been working at this like forever and I am getting nowhere, but I have separated everything into categories. This is like pasta and more cooking stuff. This is just, it's a bunch of nuts. I don't know what kind of category that goes in. This is all my baking stuff right here. I got these baskets a while back thinking eventually I want to redo my pantry. So I might um, put some of these things in there and just kind of play around with it, I guess. I'm just going to take some of this uh, masking tape, I think that's what it's called, and I'm gonna just put little labels on these baskets so I can see what all is in them. All right, I will show you guys the finished product. New and organized pantry. And maybe it doesn't look a ton different to you, but to me, it looks so much better. And is it just me, or does seeing all of your baking things in jars make you happy or what? I just think that's the cutest thing. I have all my baking stuff on this shelf up here. This is more like pasta and cooking stuff and bread and all my oils and things like that and crackers and then chips are in that basket. That's my cereal and breakfast shelf and then down here is kind of miscellaneous, more like rice and beans, nuts and things like that. Next on my list, I wanna get my dishes done and then is the fun part, we get to make a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, 
All right, the dishes actually took no time at all today because my husband, excuse me, I'm getting a pot out of my cupboards. Because my husband so kindly did the dishes for me this morning because I didn't feel great. So, props to him. Okay, we got everything we need for the pumpkin spice latte. I am not gonna be saying like, okay, like three tablespoons of this. I'm not gonna say any measurements because I'm planning to link the recipe down below. And plus, I just didn't really feel like going to all that bother of telling you guys exactly how to do it. So I'll just film it. You guys can get the recipe down below. Okay, I think while this heats up, we're gonna go ahead and make our two shots of espresso. This is my first time actually using this little handheld frother. I looked and looked for one and finally I decided the only place I can find it is Amazon. So if you don't have one of these, it's linked in my Amazon storefront, which I will have in a link in the description box if you wanna pick one up for yourself. All right guys, this is the test. Truth be told, I have actually never had a pumpkin spice latte. I have never gone into a coffee shop and said I want a pumpkin spice latte. I just can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. I've had pumpkin cold brew, I think. So maybe that's the same thing. I don't even know. I don't know much about it, but this is a homemade pumpkin spice latte that we are about to try. Mm. It's kind of strong. I think if I would do it over, I wouldn't put any cinnamon in it and maybe even less pumpkin pie spice. Granted, I'm not really sure what a pumpkin spice latte is supposed to taste like, so maybe this is actually a really good one. It's just really strong and I'm not sure if I like it. By the way, this cute little mug with the cork bottom I also got on Amazon and I will have that linked for you down below as well. Hmm. I think, I think I could like it, if I would have, like, if I would drink them a lot. I think I could like them, but it's just a bit too strong pumpkin for me. So I think the overall verdict is that it's not my favorite thing, but I think for someone who likes pumpkin spice lattes, I think this would be really good. Normally when I make myself a latte, what I like to do is go sit, whoa, is go sit on the couch, maybe watch a movie or something or play the piano. And I just thought it might be kind of fun to show you guys a new song I'm learning to end this vlog. What I always do is I put my coffee up there and then I play piano and in between songs I'll sip it and it's just so, so nice. I'm gonna play a song for you guys. If you've ever watched The Lion King, you're going to know what this song is. I am still learning this song, so bear with me if I mess up a little bit. Thank you. 
there you have it that's the last song i've learned so like recently and i think chip is probably tired of hearing it by now normally when i want to learn a new song i just listen to it a lot and learn it by ear but i found this arrangement on youtube and I was like, I have to, I want to learn that arrangement. Now, I don't want to play it by ear. I want that arrangement. So I actually ended up buying the sheet music. It was about $5.99 or $4.99. I can't remember. And I'm like, it's worth every penny. I love playing this song. It is so much fun. If I can find the link for the song, I will try to put it down in the description box for all you piano playing people out there. It is not my original song. Obviously, I did not arrange it. I bought the sheet music. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this kind of video, organization, making a latte, playing piano, it's just kind of a variety. Let me know by giving this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next week in my next video on Wednesday. See ya!